So let's see the super easy mnemonics for mineral nutrition from plant physiology. From the topic of plant physiology, under mineral nutrition, so let's talk about the super easy mnemonic. So coming to the first, macromolecules which is carbohydrates proteins lipids or fats including nucleic acids next micromolecules vitamins minerals hormones enzymes right and next coming to micronutrients and macronutrients Coming to the micronutrients, so next coming to micronutrients and macronutrients. If the nutrients are less than 10 millimole per kg, then we call it as micronutrients. If it is more than 10 millimole per kg, we call it as macro. So, Micronutrients and macronutrients are macro, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium. And out of this, this we call it as structural or framework. And next coming to magnesium and phosphorus. So I will give you a mnemonic manpower. So magnesium and phosphorus. Magnesium is for uh, chlorophyll. Phosphorus is for phosphorylated reaction. right and coming to the sulfur sulfur is for the sulfur containing amino acid methionine cysteine and vitamin thiamine and biotin coenzyme A and paradoxin and next coming to the micronutrients the very easy mnemonic will be M for magnesium molybdenum iron I for iron C for cobalt chlorine RO is for boron, N for nickel and finally we are ending all these alphabets with Z, zinc. So let's talk about each and every mineral separately. First one is magnesium. Okay. Mg2 plus. Magnesium will be for the activator of Pepcase, Phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase and Rubisco, Riblose bisphosphate carboxylase and oxygenase 
and pyruvate dehydrogenase and for maintaining chlorophyll structure and for maintaining ribosomal subunits and next coming to the zinc remember alcoholic dehydrogenase and auxins so remember the mnemonic a to z a to z and iron fe2 plus is converted to fe3 plus iron is for catalases and molybdenum 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 is for nitrogenous nitrate reductase so what is the essentiality of the vitamin c is the essentiality of the minerals essential specificity and direct involvement so these are essential for growth and development these uh, minerals cannot be replaced with other directly involved in metabolism and coming to the next nitrogen potassium magnesium these are mobile elements the symptoms is this is first observed in older parts calcium and sulfur immobile the symptoms are first observed in new parts and the least amount of minerals that can be present is 10 to the power of minus 8 gram per ml and in some of the minerals such as gold and selenium are present in the plant body and the plants growing in nuclear power plant we have seen strontium coming to the beneficial elements the beneficial elements are silicon selenium sodium and cobalt anionic and cationic balance this is maintained by sodium potassium chloride the most abundant cation the most abundant anion potassium uh, 
turgidity of the cell is maintained by potassium calcium calcium will be used for cell elongation cell division cell differentiation and next chloride and uh, manganese photolysis of water <laughs>